guys and welcome to another vlog this is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS the price of this car is rupees 3.85 crores on road Mumbai it is not the most expensive 911 because the Turbo S actually costs rupees 12 lakhs more but this is the most aggressive and extreme version of the 911 currently this is the 992 and it is not priced at the price I told you right now because this car has the y -Sat package I don't even know how to pronounce that but that costs around rupees 75 lakhs and the optional extra as well this is a Porsche very expensive taking the price close to rupees 5 freaking crores anyways this is the key of the vehicle Porsche logo obviously there at least you can see one here because you can't see it on the car I'll tell you why this is to unlock the car this is to lock the car it says RS here the usual Porsche key and straight away I'm going to be opening the frunk it doesn't even have a frunk why is that because the radiator has been placed here usually in 911s the radiator is placed on the side but because obviously it needs to be better they've actually put the radiator right here so we're going to put that down and this is completely open because this car really needs to breathe so nice and softly I'm going to put it down back this is actually a sticker for weight saving that is open carbon fiber is exposed on the bicycle package again i don't know how to pronounce that but this car has a lot of carbon fiber it's really low ground clearance is actually zero no actually it's 100 mm but it has the nose lift function not very useful there is the indicator lot of functional vents on this car so aero is the name of the game here the typical porsche lights with 4 point leds of course in fact this yellow color looks absolutely phenomenal on this car now of course it's super lowered with a lot of aero bits the reason why they have actually shifted the radiator from the side to the center because they want to actually have functional moving parts here for better aero efficiency in fact it has got flaps lower down as well which actually move the front tire size 275 35 20 Porsche logo right there on the brake calipers massive brakes yeah made in Germany of course you can get the carbon ceramic brakes which are the ones right in front of us that shed weight by around 10 kgs but they cost a lot as well RS written right here as well a lot of open ducts and whatnot because it's all about aero efficiency from the side you realize oh my goodness that spoiler is absolutely insane lot of winds again here and there in fact the tire size at the rear is bigger 335 30 2021 huge tires these are Pirelli P0 Corsa tires and when you come to the rear oh my goodness the wing actually extends out of the body it's very wide and this is actually a very functional wing because it has got DRS drag reduction system something which you only see in Formula 1 cars this is the fog lamp says Porsche here GT3 RS sticker right there indicator connected tail light and the exhaust two of them right there look at the diffuser everything is so functional on this car now it is absolutely crazy so I'm going to open a few things here and there first thing I have to push this yeah and I think this is where engine oil goes yes engine oil goes right there I think anyone can open it I don't know but this wing actually opens and extends further than the height of the car and obviously because this is the GT3 RS the most extreme version of the 911 it is wider yeah it is actually wider it's very wide look at this look at this is crazy and then you can obviously see the tire as well very sticky tires on this car carbon fiber roof in fact why is this made to channel air properly so I'll talk about all this when we're driving this car and giving it the full beans today what a beauty what an aggressive looking car these vents are also functional and i think fuel goes in right here but anyways i think you have to open it from inside they try to save like whatever weight they can so the hood is carbon fiber i think the lip spoiler the doors all of them are made of carbon fiber in fact the doors are a little bit more caved in here for better aero efficiency and you don't get these electrically actuated door handles you get these ones the pull type ones because of weight saving i believe it says gt3 rs here this is to open the hood of the vehicle this is to open something which i'm not able to understand because i'm not being able to open it i'm trying again and again but no okay this is actually a two-seater because at the rear you've got a roll cage now there it says ysac rs with a map of course these are bucket seats which are absolutely crazy which by the way get electric adjust only for the height no if you want to move it ahead and behind there is no electric adjust here because you have to do it using this lever right there these bucket seats are absolutely crazy but oh my god it has got like a six point harness and whatnot so yes it will take time for you to buckle up of course lot of carbon fiber and alcantara they call it race tech actually and 
<laughs> so look at the pedals. Get a proper dead pedal. A little different brake pedal from what I've seen earlier. These are the controls for the headlights. This is actually to turn on the vehicle. And the dashboard is super duper functional as well. Getting in and out is very difficult. It says Bose right here because that's the sound system. And you get a net right there as well with some storage space right there. These are the controls for the power windows and this is for the wing mirrors. In fact, this is how you open the door. So it does not have a door handle as such. So let's turn off the indicator. Okay, I'll just continue as a guest. Let's actually turn on the car, which means, listen to this, okay? Oh my God, it absolutely rose to life. So you get a clock, a lot of yellow finishing in multiple places. This tachometer is a traditional one. Everything else is obviously digital. You've got so many buttons on the steering wheel. This is for the drive mode selector. This is for ESC. This is for the torque vectoring. And this is for the suspension management. Nice paddles as well. And oh God, so much race text on this car. Cup holder, thank you so much. Electric parking brake. Some storage space here with two USB-C charging sockets. So yes, it's quite usable in that regard. Again, amazing materials in this car. And you get climate control, air conditioning with dual zone, of course. And then you've got some switches here, which are very good to use. And you get a proper gear lever as well. In fact, I will get into reverse to show you the reverse parking camera. Yes, it gets a reverse parking camera and it also gets this parking sensor and all that. Meanwhile, this is, I think, a 10.1 inch screen. Let's browse through it. A lot of information. It's very slick to use. Fingerprint magnet, of course. It gets Apple CarPlay. It gets Android Auto connectivity and the usual bits, which we have seen in a lot of Porsche cars. Here, you get some storage space, thankfully. And I think there is the mic which is okay something has fallen off somewhere so let's put this back into place now let's shut this oh my god this is so stuck i think it has to go down let's shut this we'll figure this out later what an amazing aggressive dashboard lovely some controls here this is actually for the drs and these are for various screens here so you can browse through a lot of stuff if you want that i'm changing stuff and i can go into multiple screens and change it oh my god that is a navigation you obviously get the sport chrono package because you definitely okay it says aerodynamics low downforce so you can change the downforce as well if you wish <laughs> a lot of buttons this is the nose lift function this for suspension this is for hazard this is for esc off and this is for esc and tc off as well because obviously this car is rear wheel driven so you can do a lot of crazy stuff in fact there is good amount of headroom for me there's obviously an auto dimming mirror there's a mirror and light here same as the case there as well a lot of wires and all now because they're going to be timing us when we're going to be driving this absolutely based of a machine let me do one thing let me actually open the power windows uh, making some sound and listen to this okay oh soft limiter I think that's a regulation now but this car can be loud it can it's not as loud as the GT4 RS because uh, look at that that's the roll cage the GT4 RS has the engine which is closer here so two seats have gone anyways they were useless here let me show you the price of things so these speakers which obviously are uh, the Bose sound system speakers that will set you back by a crazy amount of money as well I can't even see that so red seat belts are 56,000 rupees these yellow seat belts I'm so used to red seat belts now I always say that a lot of expensive options Porsche being Porsche obviously charging a bomb in fact the Porsche ceramic composite brakes 80 lakh rupees lift function 6 lakh 40 thousand thankfully the 7 speed gearbox is not charged extra for and the vice hatch package which i was telling you 75 lakh rupees okay interior package is 8 lakh 52 thousand rupees what have they really done to the interior for to charge me so much wheels painted in some color 1 lakh 12 thousand and headlight has this dynamic light system which is 1 lakh 25 thousand tail lights are something 1 lakh 70 thousand tachometer dial in yellow that's 70 thousand yeah so everything is charged and those speakers i was talking about 2 lakh 90 thousand rupees so it's expensive but then when you're getting the most extreme version of the 911 then definitely money is not an issue for you yeah let's start driving right away all right i'm finally driving the 911 gt3 rs on the racetrack and sorry for the camera view today because uh, Porsche is like very strict. They're like, you can't mount the camera here. You can't mount it anywhere because uh, there's a lot of flex in the car. It can damage the windscreen. It can damage something here or there. So those few restrictions are definitely there today. However, I am straight away going to come into track mode. And uh, okay, now it's, I think traction control is not off, but it's limited. Okay, what is this? Come on, just start the screen. How do you start the screen? No. Yeah. So now it's time to give it the full bananas and then the engine is like revving a bit here and there and off we go. Absolutely glorious soundtrack. This guy is super loud. So this is a 4 litre, it's a flat 6 naturally aspirated petrol engine which produces 525 horsepower so the power is actually increased by 5 horsepower when compared to the older generation of the 911, the GT3 RS, so only 5 horsepower increase 
which is like decent i would say <laughs> considering that they not much you can do with a uh, rs obviously because this is a naturally aspirated engine 9000 rpm red line so 525 horsepower torque output is quite impressive not really it's not impressive at all 465 newton meters of torque which is definitely very less because uh, this is a naturally aspirated motor na so it doesn't really have that punch it's a flat six motor okay there are some changes which have been done to the track oh my god the engine it's so loud it's crazy loud i think the gd4 rs which is right in front is loudest still the like, oh my oh my goodness the kind of downforce and the handling absolutely unbelievable this guy has a lot of aero bits so it's all about aerodynamics it's definitely about the downforce here this car with all the downforce and the rear wing open does a downforce of 860 kg at its speed of 285 km per hour i was going to say top speed of 285 km per hour top speed is not 285 km per hour do i oh, what am i saying top speed is actually 296 km per hour which isn't much brakes are super duper sharp they have shed around 10 kg 2 and 1/2 kg per wheel because of the carbon ceramic disc which cost like 18.7 lakh rupees Oh my god the engine sound absolutely glorious what an engine this gearbox also very fast with shift 9000 rpm listen to this guys okay oh, oh, oh. unbelievable the engine is super duper duper loud okay now we are already in now we are in first gear it is so tall gear and oh my god it feels that my sharp and around the corners it is just unbelievably sharp the kind of show it is just reeling in the gd4 rs because it has unbelievable cornering ability now obviously the gd4 rs has a higher top speed because of very less downforce but here bang and off we go come on 9000 rpm is enough to give you the gd4 rs ahead is pulling and to 50 km per hour oh, oh my god the brakes the gearbox super fast with shift seven speed pdk gearbox obviously and it's a dual clutch oh my god the steering unbelievable this guy is super stiff so a lot of effort is gone onto the aerodynamics by the way there's a fire extinguisher right there which is i think mandatory considering the amount of heat so they've channeled away all the hot air and porsche believes that for every uh, 10 degree decrease in temperature reaching the engine horsepower effect is 15 15 horsepower effect i don't know what i'm saying but all i can tell you is this guy is on freaking oh it feels like your kidneys and lungs all you just want to get out of the car right now the kind of g force you encounter what an unbelievable car and there's so many settings you can adjust almost everything there's so many buttons here you can adjust the torque vectoring you can adjust the suspension you can actually adjust the damping the rebound and the compression as well so so many things which you can actually go and change but the only problem is that uh, changing is not the problem the problem is that when you make those changes now nah, you really have to put in a lot more laps to understand what is the difference it makes <laughs> what a car absolute mind blowing under heavy braking so this car is quite light it weighs around 14 50 kg it's not the lightest version of the 911 because that is the 911 st which weighs 70 kg lesser than that because it has a manual gearbox yes that one has a 6 speed manual this is the same 4 liter flat 6 motor which naturally aspirated madness 
I can see the wing flap here and there because of DRS, and that's how it manages to do a decent top speed of 96 kilometers per hour. While at the same time, this car is able to manage. Forget everything. I can't. I can't. I can't say a word today. I'm just so spellbound by this car. Now, obviously, the ride is quite bad. I can feel the bad ride because on the slight bumps here on this smooth track, now you can feel every inch on the inside. Now, thankfully, it has a nose lift function, which actually lets you cross the speed bumps. Not much because this car just cannot be driven on the road. Although this is a race car for the road because it has a number plate, it can be registered. In all honesty, you simply cannot drive this car on the road much because our roads are pretty bad and the cornering ability. Oh, every time it goes to 9,000 RPM, you're totally spellbound by the performance. By the way, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, 3.2 seconds, which is not the fastest because the Turbo S, which costs around 12 lakhs more. That goes from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in a rather very quick actually 2.7 seconds and has a top speed of 30 kilometers per hour. The Turbo S is right behind me. Price of this car 3.85 crores or not Mumbai. And uh, there are a lot of optional equipment on this car. So the, the Vysac package is around rupees 75 lakhs, 9 lakhs alone for the interior. The end result is that this car turns out to cost, I mean, it ends up costing approximately more than 5 crore rupees, which is in freaking sane. So guys, I know I couldn't give you a full experience of this car and not talk much about it, but I thought, let me make you enjoy the sound of the motor because NA engines are a dying breed. And thankfully, we still have the 911, which sounds like this. Oh. Wow. What a car. Okay, you need to check the brake dust here. Yeah, that is the amount of brake dust which is flying everywhere. Naturally, 